In today's video, we're gonna be going over Google's Music LM program, a brand new software that allows you to create music out of thin air, like soundtracks for video games, background music, and YouTube videos. It is absolutely unreal, and I can't wait to get into it, and also how you guys can start using it as soon as possible. If you're new to the channel, I post daily AI content on the latest and greatest AI technology, so make sure you guys go down and subscribe, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. With that being said, Let's just look into the different types of things you can accomplish within this program. It is very cool and it's going to be the future of music, especially for YouTube. Just think about all the sounds you could create for your YouTube videos, background music. You no longer have to worry about copyright restrictions when you can make your own background music. I know I'm gonna be utilizing this software a ton within the future to create my own background songs for my YouTube videos. Alrighty, so the program works pretty simply. There is a text box to input whatever type of music you want to create and you just press the arrow and it generates. It's really that easy. Now obviously this is still in beta so there's minimal features and they're going to be adding more features and if you're curious about actually getting access to utilize what I'm using right now stick to the end of the video because I showcase how I literally got access in 30 minutes tops. I know all the correct answers to input on the form to get in faster on the whitelist so make sure you stick around for that but let's go and create some audio for this video so let's say i want something like chill hip-hop with birds in the background i have zero idea how this is going to turn out but let's generate it and see what we get So that was our first track and I mean that sounded pretty good although I didn't hear the birds in the background it actually does give you two tracks to choose from so let's play track number two and see if it's any better. So track number two is also pretty good, although I definitely like track number one a lot better. But once again, you can't really hear those birds in the background, so let's try and change it up. We're gonna do chill hip hop with saxophone. And let's see if we notice a difference with the saxophone integrated. Alrighty, so you definitely hear the saxophone within that beat, although I wouldn't say it sounds as good as the original track that we created. It also keeps track of all of the different beats that you've made. And if you want to download any of your tracks, you just click the three buttons here and select download and it will download your file. Well, let's try one of the prompts that it suggests for us, this repetitive melody that creates an eerie unsettling and we'll add a word spooky at atmosphere so some creepy noises or a creepy beat let's hear how this one sounds I mean, that sounds perfect for like a creepy horror YouTube video you're trying to make, maybe like a true crime using that audio. I could definitely see that being used in different types of YouTubers that make those like horror genre videos. Alrighty, we're gonna try out one more. Before I show you some other examples that other people have created, we're gonna do a rock and roll beat with heavy drums and screamo. So let's see what happens when we generate this. So I actually couldn't generate that prompt for whatever reason. It just was not letting me do that. So we are gonna do reggae screamo. I have no idea what we're gonna get, so let's listen in. It 
so that that definitely was reggae screamo like you get definitely get the drums but then the beat was more reggae i don't know that was kind of cool Alrighty, so let's go and see some tracks that other people have created with this program so here's just another example of type of stuff you could create with google's music lm in this example it's a soundtrack for a video game so you can literally make whatever audio you want for any video game this one is for an arcade game it's fast paced upbeat so let's hear this one out So that sounds like it could be in literally any video game. The audio quality is unreal and especially for it being in beta, this is the worst it's going to be. Now here's another version. This is a lot different of music so you can see the variation in music you can actually create. So let's let this one play out as well. So more of that reggae electronic music. There's so many different genres of music that you can actually use music LM for. And I'm really excited to start testing this stuff out. I'll show you guys a few more examples and then we can get into how you can actually start using the program yourself. So this example is of like a jazzy type beat. So let's let this play out. I mean, that sounds unreal. Obviously, it's not 100% perfect. There are some like distortions every once in a while in the audio and the quality isn't studio quality yet. However, I would still use this within the backgrounds of my YouTube videos and there's so many more use cases you'll be able to utilize this audio for. Now, here's just one more example. This is of like a New York pop beat just showcasing how many different genres of music you can actually create. Unfortunately, right now you can only do like beats can actually add in voices that'd be pretty crazy but i guarantee it's coming in the near future So like I said, with all the previous examples, just really cool stuff. Now let's get into how you can actually start using Music LM on your own device. Now, unfortunately right now, Music LM is in beta and they're slowly pushing out access to people who sign up for the whitelist. So I'll have the link down below to actually get started and sign up. You wanna click get started and then register your interest. From here, you wanna put in the country you're from. I always recommend recommend putting in the US if you're not from the US just because for whatever reason United States residents always seem to get access earlier than other countries then the profession I always put like academic researcher or student when I asked why I want to use the AI test kitchen just say you want to find problems and report them to Google just keep in mind Google is more likely to give access to someone who's going to report bugs and help out the dev team to further this product and then it's going to ask you if you want to participate participate in any research, just put both. This is going to increase your chances of getting on that whitelist. Also opt in and select this checkbox as well. And then you just have to sign in with your Google account and you will be on the whitelist. Now they've been rolling these out like crazy. It just came out a couple days ago, the whitelist and so many people already have access to it. So I wouldn't expect to wait too long to actually get your hands on Google's Music LM. If you guys enjoyed this video and this kind of overview of the brand new software make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel as i post daily ai content and have yourselves a fantastic day